welcome back to another Ram Road Recommends. Sorry I haven't been around for a while, but I've been waiting for something really awesome to review for you, and I think I fucking found something. It's called Pie Whack It. It's an American indie horror movie which came out last year in the States, but has just hit DVD on UK shores. Pie Whack It stars Nicole Munoz, 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 and Laurie Holden, who we know as Andrea from The Walking Dead and the cop from Silent Hill and from The Mist. She's fucking ace and everything. They play a mother and a daughter. Uh, the daughter's got like a small group of friends in high school and they're a bit goth, a bit punk. They're into black magic and the occult. And they're quite close. She's got one of the lads in her group. She's got a bit of a crush on. And they idolise this novelist who writes books about black magic. Out of the blue, the mother says that her and her daughter have got to move away from the city where they are and move out into the countryside to this big fucking cabin in the woods, for Christ's sake. As if you would. As if you would move to the woods. Well, you wouldn't, would you? So she's got to leave her friends and her life behind and move out there with her mum. Her mum's pretty good, to be fair, because she's willing to drive her back and to from this new house they're living in so she can go and hang out with her friends. But she's so angsty and she's so emo and she's really fucked off with her mum for dragging her away from this life that she's got. It didn't look that great anyway. It was just the four of them kind of dicking around a lot. But when you're a teenager, that's kind of all you've got, really, is your friends and the shit you're into. And when her mum almost destroys all that for her, she wants to summon a Piwacket, which is the name of the movie. Now, I could tell you what Piwacket is, or you could just go and Google what Piwacket is, or it's best to not know what the fuck Piwacket is when you go in to watch this movie. I, for one, didn't know what Piwacket was, and I'm saying Piwacket quite a lot. I, I appreciate I'm saying Piwacket a lot here, but never mind. It's the name of the movie, so you won't forget it. So... She wants a pie whacket to come and help her out with her mum problem and basically sort of like in a pumpkin head sort of way kind of get her own back on her mum through this thing. Okay, so that's the crux of this story. Pie whacket is one of those indie horror films which it's done right. It reminds me of great films like The Pact and Ty West's House of the Devil. It's a director who knows what he's doing. He doesn't need to rely on stupid teenage bullshit or really fucking overused jump scares. Well, there's a couple in there, but it's very forgivable. Pie Whack It on the most part is a very, very good horror movie. Very scary, very tense, and a slow burn which does have some brilliant horror payoffs in it. Low budget, but character driven and well acted and you really invest in the characters. The scares in this movie are very, very nicely done. They range from really beautiful wide shots of horrible things lurking behind trees to twisty nightmarish things going on in the corner of your room and horrible noises in the attic space above your bedroom and looming POV shots over people while they sleep. There's some really clever tricks used in this movie which make it so much fun to watch and very unnerving. If you watch this in the dark, late at night, very loud, preferably with somebody with you, as I needed, and I would need with a movie like this because I would be fucking terrified. I get scared by movies like fucking Blair Witch and Paranormal Activity. Call me a big pussy if you want, but I think they're fucking scary because I wouldn't want anything like that happening to me. And what happens in Pie Whacket, again, I wouldn't want happening to me. The ending is brilliantly done. It's got some very, very shocking moments, Pie Whack It. Horror fans everywhere need to get this movie watched. If you think of a sort of indie pumpkin head with shades of Blair Witch thrown in there and stuff like House of the Devil, you've got a nice little amalgamation of some good contemporary horror going on. It's out in the UK now on DVD. I know it's probably been out in the States for a while, but I know you can pick it up over here in supermarkets for like seven pound. It's a huge recommendation from Ramrod. I really, really enjoyed Pie Whack It. And Google it if you're gonna Google it, or I could just tell you, it's a witch, it's a witch, it's a witch. It's a witch. I can't wait to see what this director does next. He's really gonna be one to watch this Adam McDonald. He's really nailed on a good horror movie here. So give Pie Whack It a watch and let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed it or if you thought it was a piece of absolute shit. Thanks as always to everybody who watches my videos, all my new subscribers, and we're going to have more videos coming soon, I promise. I'm sorry I've been away for a, a week, which is quite a long time for me, but there's more movies coming out, 
and there'll be more reviews. So we'll see you again soon for another round of recommends. Bye for now. I'm Vinny. We'll have Vinny next time, I promise. Vinny. Bye. I've lost my brain. I cannot think of what I want to say. Hmm. It's quite a quick review because there isn't a lot I can say about Piwacket without really ruining what's going on in the whole plot.